Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft, the Pixelmon mod. Now, on the last episode, I was a complete idiot and got the recipe wrong for these boots, so I'm going to correct this by doing the correct recipe. I looked this up straight after and basically face palmed my face in. So, there we go. We now have the old running shoes, and this basically just adds a constant speed effect on us. Real. That Doug Trio is messing up my crops. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. You have no idea. And everyone was like, oh my god, you can make an Ultra Ball with the with the, the stuff you have. Well, I can't anymore because I currently have them planted and they're hopefully going to grow into luscious trees where I can basically continue to harvest them and get infinite amount of balls. Ha <laughs> ha! Jokes incoming. Actually, someone suggested I use bone meal on the thing, so let's try doing that. We might actually be able to get some apricorns now, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, well, we had some out already from that thing. Ah, yes, there we go. Ah, nice. Not bad. Certainly more efficient, I think. There we go. It seems like it's, uh, ooh, I can grow these too. There we go. Nice. I'll also at some point be building something that will allow me to basically do that for free. It's a new item that's been added into the Pixelmon mod, which basically is a watering can, I suppose, for stuff like that. But now we actually have to cook these things. So hang on, let me go and get some coal real fast, because we need to cook the apricorns to be able to shape them into the correct shape. I don't know... Why? I think that's what was his face in the anime did. Kurt, was it? Was it Kurt? I don't remember. I think it was. It's been a long time since I've seen it. So if I'm correct, I'm actually going to be very surprised. Okay, so basically I need stone just to make the buttons which are for the center of the Pokeball. There we go. Put, whoops, put that in there. There we go. And I just need three of these for the time being. I don't need any more than that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with these, uh, oh wait, I think I need to craft them into something first. With these, you put them like that and you get the Pokeball disc. And from here, I think we have to meld them with the anvil. This is quite, quite a bit busy work and I like it actually, because it keeps me interested, it keeps me occupied while I'm creating my Pokeballs. It's actually interesting, you have to create the Pokeballs. It's a neat little idea. I know, these particle effects for this speed might get a little annoying. We'll have to try and change that. Okay, now that we have all of the necessary items, we should be able to create some Pokeballs. Okay, there we go. And we have the Pokeballs here. Of course, Oh, dude, can you just throw them out? <laughs> That'd be amazing if you could just throw them at a Pokemon and then it would capture it. Oh, my God. I don't think that works, though. I am willing to try. You! Really? That works? No way does that work. I was going to say. <laughs> so, you could probably do that. That's actually amazing, though. You could probably do that, like, if you see two wild Pokemon fighting, you could totally go in there and swoop in and capture the weak one and then leave. That'd be amazing. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to continue filling out my map, and hopefully we're going to find something to catch, because I would love to do that. Uh, of course, at some point, I'm hoping to go back and get the other apricorns that have hopefully grown because I'll be able to make the Ultra Ball, which is a much more powerful Pokeball to use. It'll allow me to be able to make sure I can capture stuff better. And of course, I've been missing all of these apricorns as we go. I haven't been collecting them and everyone's angry at me and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carp. Magic Carp. Okay. I'm sorry, Magic Carp. Are you going to kill yourself again? Give me the fish dinner I was promised and never received? I'm still angry about that. All of these. All of these goddamn apricorns. So, yeah, there's a huge list of balls you can make, by the way, and it's it's amazing. Have I? Okay, yeah, let's fill out the map. Let's go this way. If I run into any Magnemites, by the way, they're dead. They are more than dead right now. You have no idea. All right, hang on. Oops. So, interesting error. Throwing a Pokeball at a apricorn tree crashes your game and makes you waste a Pokeball. 
So that was not a good time. That is a muck. That is a muck. That is amazing. Ooh, black. Nice. What level is that? Level 34 muck. So I also was uh, given a nice message telling me about certain modifications I needed to make to one of the config files. Because if I hadn't have made that change, we would have never have seen any of the legendary birds, which would have been a real disappointment. So thankfully, now that I've edited something, what is that? Oh, it's a Paris. Thankfully, now that we've edited that, if we come across the correct biome, we might have a chance, it's a very small chance, but we might have a chance of seeing one of the legendary birds. Which would be awesome! That would actually be really awesome. And I'm thinking, oh, a coffin. I could totally get a coffin. Everyone's been telling me to get Pokemon, and I don't know which one to pick. There's just so many all over the place. I don't know, I'm too spoilt for choice here. Like, I'm not limited by what is around my general area. I can just explore and find more, and it's amazing. Oh my god, this is the best mod, <laughs> to be quite honest. Uh, although, I would love to explore around some more, because apparently you can actually find the original starters as wild Pokemon. So, I could actually run into Squirtle and Bulbasaur, which would be amazing. Like, so good. Where am I going now? Turning in this to, into this kind of flower shape. There's a Goldeen. Nothing under there, I don't think. Oddish. Oddish. <gasps> Oddish. Oddish wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Although, mind you, I'd need a stone, wouldn't I, to level that up some more. I think you need a stone to make it go to Vile Plume, if I remember correctly. <gasps> I see a Magnemite. You know what this means. Dude, I could catch a Magnemite. Wouldn't mind catching a Magnemite. Well, I'm just going to quickly defeat you, just so I can hopefully get some... There we go, got some iron, not bad. How many do I get? I don't know how many I got. I think it was just one. But hey, one iron is better than none iron. Oh my god, is that Slowpokes? Slowpokes? <gasps> Slowpoke! Yes! Slowpokes. What is that? That is... That is a Jinx fighting a Hypno. Where am I? I'm in another ice area. There's a lot of ice around this area. Well, a lot of snow around this area. Poliwag, Rattata, Magnemite. Might as well just attack, attack you. There we go. So yeah, I, I stated it in text last time, but I'm gonna make sure that I do not use uh, or I don't have any music or various battle effects for single hit Pokemon battles purely because that would just take too long. Especially if I'm grinding for stuff, if I ever have to do that. It doesn't seem like I have to so far, but to be honest, getting the metal from the Magnemites is just way too, way too useful. This Drowsy really wants to fight. Alright, if you insist. Apparently Dragon Rage isn't as good as I once remembered. Uh, apparently they've limited it quite a bit. Nice! Probably could have caught that, to be honest. Which would have been cool. Flaffy? I could catch a Flaffy. <gasps> That'd be cool. Let's uh, get the black apricorn there. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there you go. Picked it up. <laughs> Can't see, I got my map out. Alright, let's go this way. What is over here? Oh my god, so much snow. That's ridiculous. Why is there so much snow everywhere? Green apricorn. Like, I'm, I am like... I don't want to miss any of these apricorn trees, or is he just going to yell at me? Mareep! Okay, there we go. Let's catch a Mareep. Okay, let's uh, scratch you down. Is that going to kill it? No, okay, good. Scratch you again. Nice. Alright. Thunder wave? Ah, oh, no. Alright, well, let's try this. Pokeball! Hey, Jinx, get out of the way! Front row! God damn it! I, I can't... This Jinx is just determined to see what's going on. And you captured Mareep! Do -do 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 -do. Yes! Alright, so... I like Mareep because I like me Thunder Pokemon, so... There you go. We should uh, think of a name for Mareep. Hang on a moment. Abra? Oh my god, it's an Abra! I'm just gonna try capturing it for lows. Do you? Uh, Pokeballs, I'm just gonna waste them everywhere. Oh, oh, ah, <laughs> he teleported away. 
That's no fun. Oh, there's a the higher level Marie there. Oh my god. Ah, I get that. I think these, I think interacting with these things, that, is that the same Abra? Okay, come here you. I just want to capture you just for the lols, why not? Why not? Could be uh, a laugh. No, he's gone. All right. <laughs> Guess that isn't happening. Uh, I could go back and create the uh, Ultra Balls, considering they've probably grown by now. And I think I had enough. I think I had enough for one at least. Or like one batch. And I have enough iron to make some more. So yeah, let's do that. Because I would be interested in trying to catch some of these other things. Pijoto. Okay, hang on. Let me just... Uh, uh, whoever, d whoever they got to do the voice of Pajoto is actually pretty good. Hello? <gasps> Look at you, oh my god, you're a sheep and you're adorable, oh my god. You're an adorable sheep and I want you. Okay, let's have a look. What is your stats? Oh, my speed. Get out of the way. What are your stats then? Let's have a look. Summary. You're an electric type, that makes sense. We can rename you. You have Tackle, Growl, Thunder Wave and Cotton Spore. Uh, harshly reducing its speed stat. Ooh, nice. Alright, that's fine. We have happiness 70, growth huge. Oh, it's a big one. Alright. That's a sassy nature. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, seems to be pretty good in special attack. Wow. Actually, how are your stats looking? You're looking pretty good. You're very fast. You're very fast and have a lot of health. That's pretty good then. Alright, cool. What are you? You're jolly. But you're very happy, apparently. I'm getting a lot of giant Pokemon, aren't I? It's weird. Alright, come on, Mary. Uh, I'll come back for a moment. Because where am I going? Uh, going this way. So, of course, we might need to name Mr. Mareep. I don't know what you guys have in mind. I won't name him until the next episode, so you can let off your ideas. Of course, if I just come up with something, then I'll name him. But we'll see what you guys have to say about it. And to save time, I'm just going to stop recording and come back when I'm back at town. So... Be right back. Okay, I've only decided to make five of these instead of ten because I don't think my hammer would survive. Whoa, Ultra Ball Disc. Oh man, this is cool. Let me just go and store these other apricorns away just because they're taking up room in my inventory and I don't think I'm going to be using them just yet. Uh, is there anything else? Did I get the fish? <gasps> I think I got the fish. Oh my god. Yes, I got fish dinner after all. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can store in here, so is there? No. Alright, well, let's just quickly go and, uh, wait, I got one. Oh, I see, I can, oh, okay. You see, there was me thinking I could make five out of this, but it's only one Ultra Ball, so getting the Ultra Balls is a lot more costly than it is to get Poke Balls. That makes sense, actually. Okay, well, in that case, did I have any red cooked ones already? Yeah, two red cooked ones, typical. Because I want to try and might as well get some more normal Pokeballs. If I like weaken something strong, then I can just uh, use the Ultra Ball. But okay, since we're here, let's make this real fast. Ultra Ball! Oh my god, it looks awesome. Look at it, it's all yellow and black. And it's cool. And I want to throw it at that thing. I don't know why, but I do. I didn't even notice that at the time. There we go. Five Pokemon discs or Pokeball discs. Let's go and quickly make these. I might not have enough for all five, we'll see. But uh, these don't take long, especially with the iron hammer. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go and grind at some point just to try and get some more iron. Seriously, going and killing Magnemites is the easiest way to get iron ever. And I'm so glad I found out about it. <laughs> Cause I knew, I knew, I knew that Pokemon dropped the random items I just didn't realize it could it had a chance to drop iron it's like the easiest way of getting that stuff and it's so cool that it actually does that all right last one and then we'll go out on another adventure we'll go over to that ice area up the north because I'm curious about what is up there maybe we can find another village and expand our map territory that'd be pretty cool Oh, I suppose if I, oh, if I make one more disc real fast, I'll go backwards and forwards today. If I make one more disc, I can have a nice round amount of Pokeballs just to use. And I won't have any extra materials I don't need. Well, there you go. Alright, so I'll be able to use up all of my discs, all of my buttons. And we'll have a nice... Oh, well, there you go, I only had four buttons. So, 
serves me right, because now I have this and this. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I'll sort that out later. Okay, time for us to go over to the snow area. I'm hoping we could try and catch something on the way, but really I should train up Mareep a bit now, because we need to find something that's weak to lightning, and of course, in a sand area full of rock Pokemon, and ground types and all sorts of things like that, probably not the best place to train a thunder type, or electric type, sorry. There goes my mouth again with its, uh, uh, this is not loading, okay. I don't know why it does that sometimes, it's weird. Minecraft is weird, what can I say? Oh man, I'm looking forward to seeing if we can find these uh, legendary birds. Apparently you can find Mewtwo as well, which is certainly an interesting thing. Uh, a Mewtwo would be a very interesting thing to have. But I don't know, I, I, how many of you caught the Mewtwo that was in the first game? Like, the first, in that secret dungeon, that kind of secret cave place, that was weird, that place. So we should try and have a party of different types of Pokemon, so maybe we can try catching a water type next, or something, because I mean, I usually love having fire and electric stuff, but a bit of diversity wouldn't, a uh, bit of a uh, change wouldn't hurt, I'm sure. Just have a party full of different elemental types. Ooh, what's it? A feather? I think that was a feather, yeah. Ooh, that was a bit lag there. That was weird. All right, icy area. What do you have in store for me? There's a ghastly. Is that ghastly taking on a ghastly? I think that was. <gasps> ghastly, okay. I'm not too worried about collecting apricorns right now because most of the ones I have at home will do for the time being. Having said that, this was just freshly picked. Did I pick that? I would have thought that would have come back by now. Yeah, I guess I might have picked it the last time I came down here, but I don't remember coming down here recently, so that's weird. That is weird that that happens to... Hmm. I'm interested in certain things right now. Oh, whoa, dude. Oh, God. Did I almost fall down? I almost fell down. Oh, that was almost a trainer's death right there. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, look at that. This is ridiculous. What? There's Zubats down there. There's a lot of Zubats down there. Aren't Zubats weak to electric type attacks? I can't remember. I think they were. I don't remember. Oh man, I might actually test that. Oh god. Now, now Minecraft screaming at me with its ambient noise. Oh hey, a jungle area. Oh, so this was a crappy snow biome actually. This wasn't very good at all. Polywhirl. Is that a C? Is that C I see? I see a C. I see Ratatas. I see Magnemites. You know what Magnemites mean. Easy iron. No, come back. I want easy iron. Damn it. Magnemite, yes. Ember. Yeah, okay. So, something's dying right now. Oh, Pidgey. What are you doing, Pidgey? You can't do that, Pidgey. Alright, hang on. Uh, go down. I want to get the iron. Yeah, iron! I will sacrifice myself for iron. Iron is so useful in this mod. Why is it always iron? Like, of all the things, like, Tech It had that, FTB had that, although I, might, I suppose it's because it's just using the same stuff. Industrial craft, basically, just required butt tons of iron. Oh my god. I should get a coffin. Or a wheezing. I know, I like... Okay, someone has to be with me on this. Like, when it comes to evolutions, I really like ma I like capturing the first type of evolution and then evolving it myself, rather than capturing a ev ev already evolved type. Is that just me, or is that what you guys like to do? I'm curious. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to fight a boss. I think they scale with your level. Is that Hitmonlee? Is that Hitmonlee? I think that's a Hitmonlee. So like, the bosses will be always a certain amount of levels higher than you, I think? Uh, at least that's what I remember you guys, uh, reading what you guys said. That is a Hitmonlee, and he's attacking the Fero! Oh my god, why is he attacking that? Whoa! He's attacking that Fero with great justice and very high jumps, apparently. 
Oh, did he did he lose? Did the Pharaoh win? I think the Pharaoh won. Dude, look at his level though, 40. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with that shit. I don't know, the Pharaoh might be a... Might be a hostile one, so... Don't really want to stay around. Vulpix! <gasps> Vulpix! Oh, who's attacking me? An Ekans. Why are you attacking me? Why is... Why is Flint still over there? What? <laughs> Alright. We can catch a Vulpix. Oh my god, where's the Vulpix? Who are you? What are you? You are... Oh, you're the Vulpix! Oh man, alright. Vulpix! I love Vulpix. <clears throat> I will take the damage just so I can capture you. Chameleon, Chameleon, Chameleon. Say it three times and he will appear. Alright, nice. Isn't very effective. Wait, Scratch isn't very effective. Oh no, no, he was using... The Vulpix was using something on me. Sorry. Oh, stop using Raw! I hate it when these things use Raw. Scratch, critical hit. Oh, and he used Raw again! Stupid attack! Raw is dumb and I hate it! Okay. I should be okay now. Bag and Pokeball. Boom! We can't see the Pokeball because it's just below our feet, I think. I can't hide the thing. I was trying to hide the hub, but it didn't work. And... Da, da, da. Yay! We caught a Vulpix! Level 14 Vulpix. Nice! Alright, well that's two names I'm gonna need. Electrode. We could get this iron while we're here. Man, you know what? It's a good day. It's a good day to expand the party. Although I kind of decided randomly that I was gonna stick in my comfort zone with electric and fire, eh? <laughs> I'll just catch this Electrode, you know? Hello, matey. How you doing? Well, I know you're eager to fight, you're bouncing up and down, but right now, I think I'm going to call it quits for the time being. Maybe I'll fight you at the beginning of the next one, Austin, don't worry. We've got a new Mareep, as you can see, and a new Vulpix. Dude, you can have multiples running around? That's amazing! Oh my god. Look at these Pokemon, they're going to beat the shit out of you, just wait. Just wait, and I'll see you on the next one. Throw us a like if you enjoyed this video. Okay, thanks, bye. Today was Double Sunday, and I also uploaded a video of some alpha footage of a new game called Distance. I would greatly appreciate if you clicked that link and went and gave the video some love. Thank you for watching.